My name is Dan Hee Kim and I study at the University of Toronto and I'm planning to major Equity Studies and International Relations. My name is Hyun Si Yu and I'm from South Korea and I'm studying Life Sciences at the first year of University of Toronto. My name is Hee Son. I'll be studying International Studies in Korea University. I wanted to stay near my parents but I also wanted the opportunity to learn in English. The community was the thing that I was motivated to go to Brinksom because Brinksom community helps everyone to be involved and engaged. And I think that helped me to learn how to build great interactions and relationships with each other. So therefore, I could study in the most happiest environment. IB stands for International Baccalaureate. When you do the IB, you learn how to balance your time to study, but also get involved in the community. One of the greatest strengths that we have in our school is uh, a well-rounded curriculum. I felt much less overwhelmed when I came to university and, and I first um, took my midterm exams due to the toughness of IB diploma program. So I think IB diploma at Brinksome has prepared me well to, to go ahead to the university. The CASE program is actually what motivated me to keep doing my studies. CASE stands for Creativity, Action, Service, and Enrichment. The CASE program makes students live a balanced life. Due to those lessons, I think I'm raised as a rounded person because my focus of study is mostly on math and sciences, but I always desired to be a musician and artist, which CASE study helped me to become. Since studying IV diploma, I was interested in learning more about international economics, international business, in international politics as well. After exploring a lot of case programs, I've found out what I love and I'm continuing that throughout the UFC. International Studies is the program where it surrounds every aspect of areas where I want to learn. I've learned that I love volunteering, so a part of my major is Equity Studies. And I wanted to learn more academically about equality, social justice. I think a lot of that has to do with what I've experienced in Bring Small Asia. Here, each student can take initiative in um, running or running a um, service club or activities. The leadership opportunity in Brinksome helped me to um, grow up as an independent individual who is responsible in my own decision making. Um, I think that helped me a lot to um, adjust in a new, totally new environment without anyone supporting myself. For example, I was a prefect of Brainstorm Hall Asia and I had to communicate with all the council members and deal with their own problems. Um, and I think that helped me to enhance my communication skills and the way that I interact with new people. I miss all the teachers and the friends that I met because we lived in the same community for three years and we were just like family. I really miss being with my friends in residence and the help I received in residence because when I needed help during my studies, I could just go outside to the common room and ask my dons. I was a resident student for Brinksome for three years and therefore I got to live without my parents. And that's helped me a lot um, to manage my time and manage my own work, which I think is totally um, needed to be an uh, independent university student and to be successful in university life. It is very empowering to be at an all-girls school because when you're at an all-girls school, you can really do what you want to do and express yourself. Because there's a lot to do at Brainstorm, academically and socially, there's a lot of challenges you face and challenges you have to overcome. But once you overcome those challenges, you become a better person and you become a bigger person.
So this is my room. This is my part of the room. This is my roommate. This year, I use the room by myself. But normally, the other kids have roommates, so they share with a buddy. This is all my schedule. I keep it on this calendar. These are my dolls named Trolls that brings luck to me. This is the book I'm recently reading about how directors make choice. Over here is the bed and here is like the table for studying. We do fundraising events for the um, local community and this is the one my um, friend's little sister made, the Santa Claus. The theme of this artwork is Japan because I really like to go to Japan and I love Japanese culture. This is still in progress, but it's a color pencil work. We invite, like, bring some Canada people, and we have a competition. And um, my friend and I, um, as a group, we dance, and we got second place. <laughs> this is the calendar my friend made for me last year from the production we did. We did Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I was an Oompa Loompa. This is my teacher dog, Miss Klein, and she's, I think she's the nicest first teacher that I've ever met. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> this is Miss Jalen Song, and she is my teacher dog in residence this year. Basically, teacher dogs help out girls to support their academics and um, keep the schedules. We have duty of care of all the girls every day and night. Sometimes I feel like a friend when we're goofing <laughs> off, and, you know, walking around outside or when we go to dinner or something. Yeah, yeah. And then sometimes I feel a little bit like a sister when you do something that you maybe Absolutely. shouldn't really be doing. <laughs> then also sometimes as a teacher, like during study hall especially, yeah. or when things need to be edited or when a big test is coming. Mm -hmm. And then always around bedtime, I feel a little bit more like a mom and I have to <laughs> yes. chase some people back to their rooms before bedtime. As residence dons, it's our job to really meet the needs of the student. If some students really need a lot of extra support, that extra bit of contact, like we will be there for them in that way. Your family don is there for support, but there's also the freedom to go to all of the other dons in the building too, even if they're with yes. a different grade, because some dons have specialties in certain areas. Yes, we support the girls, but we're also trying to teach them how to have their own independence and be prepared for university and for life after BHA. In Ranksome shall we have purple bikes from school. I usually ride bikes after I eat meals because I'm so full. I kind of like to study in the library too. The environment's a nice place to focus and do your homework. Visual art room. That's where I go in, um, whenever I get tired of studying and I want to do some drawings and paintings and get creative. Gym or soccer field where we can practice gymnastics. I love to hang out in cafe because we can grab some snacks that we cannot eat in the normal meal. One of the advantages of living in residence is I get a personal space but then I also have my friend next door and we get to be more like family than more like friends.
Hi, my name is Kyungjin from Brangsa, Malaysia, 9th grade. My name is Zoe. I'm from Brangsa, Malaysia, and I'm grade 9. I'm doing Canada Exchange Program. I'm in North America. It was like dream to be here. I think the camp was the most funniest thing because we met the Canadian girls and we did many activities. I just first went to them and like I said like, Hi, my name is Zoe, I'm from Brangsa, Malaysia, and like, they welcomed me. We had Instagrams follow, Snapchat IDs, even Skype, and there's a messenger popular called Kakao Talk in Korea, and like they installed it for us, so we can keep in touch. In Korea, they're all like cities, so I've never been to like kind of nature part. And Alangan Park has a nice view of lakes and also mountains, so I enjoyed it. And most interesting was the Northern Lights that I've never seen before. It was my first time in my lifetime to try rock climbing. It was very, very high, so I was very afraid at the first time. And sometimes I fall, but I was still safe because there were friends from Brangsamo Asia and Brangsamo Canada who were holding the rope, so I would be very safe. I've never been to canoeing, so it was a good opportunity to do it and it's a real lake because we have canoe in our school but we do in swimming pool which is really awkward. They also cheered me up like go Gyeongjin you can do it so I really touched the top. I was really proud of myself and thankful for friends and teachers. Currently I'm working on I think program which is solving a real life problem of the city in a group of half Canadian girls and half Asian girls. Tommy Thompson Park is like a nature park and they have a lot of species of animals there. We are talking about whether we like open to the public or we just save it for the animals. We just bring someone between the good part of conservation land and the public park. And we need to find very creative solution to solve the problem. I think today we'll kind of combine and we'll have solutions. I am considering studying abroad for the university. In my eyes, I think a good university is making a good environment for the students to study and also provides many opportunities for students to develop their leadership and communicate with other friends and peers. I went to Queen's University for sure and today I'm going to University of Toronto. The atmosphere of the campus was really free and fresh, so I really like this. I think Queen's University has a beautiful campus and I'm sure U of T will have the same. I think Canada Exchange Program changed my world of view because when I was in Korea and studying at Jeju Island, I was only thinking about my country and um, issues related to my country. But as I came to Toronto and meeting many people from different countries, I started to think about world issues and other cultures, so I became more global aware and an open-minded person. Canada, you can see a lot of good things that we cannot see in Korea. I strongly recommend coming to Canada Exchange Program because it gives you such an extraordinary experiences. You can see Niagara Falls, you can shop a lot in Newton Center, you can go up to CN Tower, which is much higher than our NS Tower, which is in Seoul. So it's just such a nice opportunity. You should come here. I think there is no need for you to hesitate coming to Canada. You will also develop your English level and you could find your potential talents and develop them. So I want to challenge you to get out from your comfort zone and come to Canada.